everybody, Texas Stroker Lance's Performance Shop, Lone Star Mopars. I got 2 minutes and 59 seconds on this memory card, let's make it count. I'm gonna do a crimp test, we're gonna compare the classic quintessential channel lock 909s, uh, very similar products, some you might have from Klein, so on and so forth, to some really fancy uh, ratcheting crimpers. This is the Taylor 43400, we've showcased both of these in standalone videos. I've got this one set up with the insulated terminal die. So. Uh, what I've got to work with here, I've got the same brand, I can't tell you which one, but they are the red 22 to 18 gauge uh, terminals. We've got one male, one female. I've got some 18 gauge speaker wire because, hey, it provides me two things at once. I'm just going to quickly use the cutting edge here. So the tailors, obviously, they're not going to be able to cut. Oh, it was like butter. And it provides a satisfying click. Uh, now I want to strip these apart like so. And uh, people laugh at these all the time. I haven't done a video on these. I've had these for years. I mainly got them because they were included with a terminal kit from Summit. And if you laugh at them, I want you to watch that. Did you see how perfect that was? I didn't have to use a razor blade. I didn't have to sit there with pliers and spin it around. I just did that. And it was so smooth, so satisfying. Uh, running low on time here. So uh, let's thread that through. It's a little bit longer than it needed to be, but whatever. Uh, let's see. It's going to be the non, or it will be insulated, I should say. So we're just going to do one crimp with each, not spin it around. There's that. That's pretty, so that ain't coming off. That's a good quality crimp right there. Thank you, Channel Lock. I've got about a minute to work with here, assuming the batteries don't die. We'll come in on this one, thread the wire through, and here we are. I'm trying to think of the best way, I guess, to come in and showcase it like so. Hmm. Having a hard time seeing with this one. Alright, I think I've got it in the jaws properly. I don't know, but I'm in a time crunch, so there I go. We'll squeeze down. We'll release. And by not being under the constraints of pressure, I've successfully crimped with the tailor. I gotta say, it's a little easier to use the channel lock, but this crimp came out fantastic as well. I'm running out of time here, but the bottom line, put them together, pull on the wires, they're golden. I'd say they're both good.